follow the stabbing near Foothill High School that left a 17 year old student dead. As of today, three people have been arrested. 23 ABC's Leza Gooden was able to speak to the suspect's family and joins us live in studio with more on what they said. Lesla. Yes, good evening. Today I was able to speak with the aunt of 23 year old Jason Cruz and the 17 year old minor who KCSO has arrested and charged with homicide in relation to the Foothill stabbing that took place this week. The aunt exclusively tells me that both Cruz and the 17 year old had access to knives, but in this incident, it was never supposed to go this far. I, I myself gave her, uh, gave her a knife before and I said, don't let boys beat you up. Those were my instructions to her and I meant you know, you know, go like a blender and, you know, go like a world. I was imagining like a tornado and get everybody, you know. I wasn't imagining for her to actually take a life. Stephanie Benavides says she's the aunt to both 23-year-old Jason Cruz and 17-year-old Caitlin, who police have charged with first-degree murder of 17-year-old Jose Flores. Benavides says the two were escorting their 14-year-old cousin, who was not involved in the incident, to and from Foothill High School Tuesday because he was jumped that Friday before. I know she was just protecting herself. She wasn't trying to hurt people. She was trying to keep from being hurt. There's a difference. Benavides tells 23 ABC that her 17 year old niece, who identifies as a lesbian, is not affiliated with any gangs and never had any previous confrontations with Flores before that fatal day. But her niece had conflicts with other boys in the area and she wanted her to be protected. When your baby comes home every day, I'll beat up and she's telling you she's being beat up by boys. I want her to protect herself and I, I didn't trust her with mace and I didn't trust her with uh, a taser, but I really did want her to protect herself. I never imagined in a million years it would go this far. I thought if anything, kids are going to need some stitches. Benavita says she's not sure where the exact knives that were used in this incident came from, but if they are linked back to her collection, she will take responsibility for that. Also, she adds that no one expected any altercation to end in death or threats that her family has received. Now, my family is being bullied and harassed. Uh, they put all their information on Facebook, their pictures and their personal information. They had to move from the house. They're being uh, harassed, stalked and uh, threatened every day. And people are... Uh, it's like, they're, it's like a witch hunt, you know? Like Benavita says she has not been in contact with police, but says she's willing to for the sake of her two loved ones. 23 ABC also spoke with family members of Jose Flores today who say they are still seeking justice and they were unable to speak on camera today because they were in the process of making funeral arrangements. Benavides has this message for them. And I'm sorry for the family as well. It's horrible. The whole incident is horrible. And my heart does go out to them. And I can't even imagine. And that. And I'm, uh, I cry every day for that situation. Like, I'm so sorry that that happened. Cruz was scheduled to appear in court for his arraignment this past Friday, but it has been postponed because he's still recovering from his injuries. Another 14 year old boy who was also stabbed was arrested in this case for assault with a deadly weapon. Again, if you have any further information on this case, call KCSO at 861-3110 or the secret witness hotline at 322-4040. For now, in studio, Leslie Gooden, 23 ABC News, connecting you.